So 99% of the students that this question were, was trained to did not get it right. I don't know why, but let's get it right. All right. Now we are told to simplify this. We are told to simplify this or to evaluate this. First, to simplify it, this particular number here inside the bracket, let's call it something. Okay. So let's um one plus square root of five divided by two let's call it y okay or let's call it something i don't want something that is long let's call it a yeah this one is smaller so if we say let this be equal to a let's cross multiply okay so if we cross multiply we will have two times a will give us two a is equal to one plus what square root of five now let's take this to the left hand side of this equation if we do that we will have that 2a minus 1 is equal to square root of 5. all right so in order to get a number here let's take square root of both sides then take square of both sides so that we can remove this root sign all right so if we say 2a minus 1 squared this should be equal to square root of 5 squared. So we are going to have that 2a minus 1 squared is equal to what? 5 because this square will cancel this square root. All right. Now this is what we have because I want to change position. That 2a minus 1 squared is equal to 5. Perfect. And we continue now. Recall, recall, okay, that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, in this case, our a is 2a and our b is 1, okay? So, we are going to substitute, we are going to relate this to this. So, to do that, that means this is going to be a squared, that is 2a squared, right? minus 2 multiplied by a recall that our a is 2a right multiplied by b which is what 1 all right plus b squared that is 1 squared is equal to 5 all right now let's work this out so we have 2a squared so 2 squared will give us 4 a squared is a squared minus 2 times 2a will give us 4a plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, let's bring this in. Let's bring it in. If we do that, we're going to have 4a squared minus 4a. Then this will come inside to become 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, I want us to... Let me explain what I'm trying to do here. All right? We are, we are told to solve. This is raised to the power of 12, and we call it a, right? You know that a to the power of 12 is same thing as a to the power of 6 squared, right? So that means that if we are able to get a to the power of 6 and square it, we are going to solve this problem, right? So all we are going to do here is to try to get a to the power of 6. And a to the power of 6 is the same thing as a to the power of 3 squared. So we are going to emphasize or we are going to try to get these two things, a to the power of 3 and a to the power of 6. Once we get to a to the power of 3, we square it, then we get a to the power of 6 to do what? We also square it. Simple. So, in all this, something is very important, and you're going to see that. So, I'd like you to stick to the end and see how this plays out, because it's a very interesting mathematical problem. All right. So, we have 4a squared minus 4a Minus 4 is equal to 0. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Let's just divide through by 4. If we do that, we have a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, let's make a squared the subject of the formula. Recall what I showed you, what we are looking for, right? <laughs> so, we have a squared is equal to minus a we cross to become plus a and minus 1 we cross to become plus 1. And this is a very important equation let's call this equation one yes because in in a place anywhere we are trying anything we are trying to get we are trying to get a to the power of three and we are trying to get a to the power of six you must meet a to the power of two there so we need this to simplify them 
yes now we have gotten a to the power of two it's easy to get a to the power of three yes if we multiply true by a we are going to get a to the power of three right so let's go ahead and do that so if we multiply true by a we have a squared multiplied by a to the power of one right is equal to a multiplied by a plus what one multiplied by a all right so a to the power of one, 2 multiplied by a to the power of 1. Recall that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n according to the law of exponents is equal to a to the power of m plus n, right? So that is why I said when we multiply through, we are going to get a to the power of 3 because this becomes a to the power of 2 plus 1, which is 3, is equal to a times a is a squared plus what? A. Perfect. C a squared. I told you this is a very a golden equation. So this particular a squared is really important to what we are doing. Now let's continue. Okay, let us continue. Okay, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, ah, what is still preventing you from clicking on the subscription button? Oh yeah, please click before you forget. Okay, subscribe to the channel on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And you know what? Please try to comment, like, and share. That is, that will indicate or that will help the algorithm to push my videos towards to more audience. And as such, it will get to people that need it more. Okay? Thank you so much. Now look at what we have here. So we have a to the power of 3 is equal to. Now this 8 squared, we are going to replace it with this. Yes. So we are now going to write a plus 1 plus a. You can see how it simplified this particular equation. So we now have that a to the power of 3 is equal to a plus a will give us 2a plus 1. A very important equation again. Perfect. Now recall what we are aiming. We are aiming at a to the power of 3 to square it to get a to the power of 6. To square a to the power of 6 to get our solution. So we are halfway to our solution. Congratulations if you watch to this end. Now let's continue. So we are going to square our a to the power of 3. So a to the power of 3 squared is equal to a to the power of 6, right? Yes, because when you have a to the power of m, and this is also raised to the power of n, according to the law of indices or exponents, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. All right? Okay. Now, let's continue. So, we have this as a to the power of 3. So, we are going to have that a to the power of 6 is equal to what? a to the power of 3. Okay, let me not repeat what I've written here. Let's just dive in. So, this is a to the power of 3, which is 2a plus 1 raised to the power of 2. So, a to the power of 6 is equal to... So, we have a plus b squared in algebra is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab or a squared plus 2ab plus b squared anyone is still correct now we are going to substitute whatever we have into this all right now this implies that this is a squared right that is 2a squared which will give us 4a squared so we have 4a squared here plus a 2ab, right? That is 2 times 2a, which is 4a times 1, which is still 4a, plus 1 squared, that is b squared, which is 1. So we have that a to the power of 6 is equal to 4. Anywhere you see a squared, it, you have to substitute our lovely equation. So we are going to substitute a plus 1 here to simplify this. Do you understand now? Okay, so we are going to add a plus 1 here, alright? Um, squared, sorry, no square again, a squared is a plus 1. Alright, plus 4a plus 1. Now, a to the power of 6 is equal to 4 times a, we give us 4a, and 4 times 1, we give us plus 4, alright? Plus 4a plus 1. So, a to the power of 6 is equal to 4a plus 4a will give us 8a, right? And 4 plus 1 will give us 5. Amazing! Yes! Why am I happy? We're almost there. 
we are almost there once we have our a to the power of six we just go ahead and square it to get our solution so let's do that together and let's start from here so this is what we have here that a to the power of okay let me not repeat what we have there a to the power of 12 is equal to a to the power of 6 squared right and what do we have as our a to the power of 6 we have 8a plus 5 all right so we have 8a plus 5 squared so we go ahead and use our algebra to open this up so we have a to the power of 12 is equal to 8a squared right which is 64a squared plus 2ab that is 2 times 8a which will give us 16a right times 5 which will give us um 4880 right or oh, let me do it this way 8 times 5 already is 40 and 40 multiplied by 2 is 80 yeah so this should be 80a then plus what b squared that is 5 squared which is 25 i just hope i'm not confused you here and i think i didn't all i did is that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab 2ab plus b squared okay so substitute your a as 8a and your b as 5 and you are going to get this all right let's continue so we have a to the power of 12 is equal to 64 recall our a squared is what 1 plus a so always write that i hope i'm correct right yeah a plus 1 or 1 plus a all right plus 80a plus 25 okay so we continue now um let's solve looking at this now you can see that our a to the power of 12 is equal to 64 times 1 will give us 64 and 64 times a will give us 64a all right um plus 80a plus 25 now we are still having a here so we are still going to do something about it we don't need to have a inside this place but don't worry we are going to do that so we have that a to the power of 12 is equal to 64 plus 25 we give us what we have 5 plus 4 is 9 6 plus 2 is 8 so we have 89 plus 80 plus 64 we give us 144a right now we have a here this one is a this is nine so we have a here but recall that our a is equal to one plus root five divided by two okay so you are going to substitute this into this particular place so we have a to the power of 12 is equal to 89 plus 144 multiplied by one plus root five divided by two now this two is going to divide this to give us 72 right so we have a to the power of 12 is equal to 89 plus 72 bracket 1 plus root what 5 right so we have a to the power of 12 is equal to 89 plus 72 times 1 will give us 72 plus 72 root 5 okay so a to the power of 12 then should be equal to 89 plus 72 9 plus 2 is 11 we write 1 and carry 1 now 8 plus 8 will give us what 16 so we have 161 plus 72 root 5 and this is our answer all you need to do is i don't have enough space again just substitute a here that is 1 plus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of 12 which is the question is equal to this and that's all. Thank you so much for watching and do have a lovely day.